Karma hit my brother, they denied him the V's. Posted by Dark Silver Nine. I don't have other place to express my happiness than tell everyone on Reddit. A little backstory, we are not from USA. My brother, 33 male, is the worst scum of earth. I grew up in a chauvinist, cultish household where I had to behave so I didn't tarnish my family and no matter what happened my brother was the golden child. My brother would physically hurt my sisters and I would make degrading comments like we were fat or ugly, criticize our clothes, our cooking, our cleaning, yet he barely graduated HS. In the eyes of my parents he was not doing anything wrong, they would just tell him stop bothering your sisters and that was it. My brother grew up diminishing my sisters and I, I would cry in my room about the level of Abru. My brother is a freeloader that hasn't worked a single job in his life in our home country yet he went to USA to visit some relatives and decided to work on a tourist visa as you know this is a huge no-no. From there on my brother thought of living in USA and never come back to my home country. Of course once the visa renewal came it was denied. My brother was heartbroken because obviously he has no work experience, single, has a business degree he graduated with the minimum requirements. He would tell my sisters and I to have money monthly for house expenses and fruit, but I knew he was taking a portion to himself. He continued to be in a hole, but one day I decided to be the bigger person and open up to him. He stopped me and told me to my face I don't care about your life. That was the moment I shut myself with him. And after years of aberrant discrimination for being a woman I found out he applied a second time for a visa and it was once again denied. To you my selfish freeloader, narcissist and lame excuse of a brother, I'm happy to know that karma hit you on the one thing you wish the most. So what do you think? Share your opinions in the comments below. And now to the comments. A comment from end of time. Gosh your parents have brought up your brother in the worst way possible. That household sounds suffocating to be brought up in. How are you doing now though? I hope you are away from that toxic BS. OP answered. Luckily I am doing good. I had to elope with my boyfriend's last soon to be fiancé to escape my toxic family. Unfortunately, this decision cost me my relationship with my family and only my father talks to me. Rough puzzle headed 375 likes to add. You should get a visa just to rub it in his face. OP replied. I plan to but like any visa I would rather travel a little bit to other countries and join once my passport has a record of other places apply for it. Luckily I have a planned trip to Costa Rica in about 2 minus 3 months fingers crossed they give it to me. Glimmer off inside commented. Sounds like you are due for a celebration. OP replied. Hell yeah. To your listener if you want more of this content please consider subscribing. It will really help the channel grow. Thank you for your consideration. To the next post. I hate society. Posted by Wonderful Pirate 177. I've heard nice people get tired of being nice. I didn't think it would happen to me, but it did. I'm always a polite person. I treat others as I want to be treated. But the past few months things have really started to bother me. This is just an example of the type of things that are bothering me. The community I live in has a food and supplies pantry where it's open a few days a week so people can come and get what they need. It's all volunteers that run it. And a few weeks ago a woman had a fit because she wasn't given Starbucks ground coffee. I looked at her and said sorry, all we have is the peats. And in my head I almost snapped at her, I can't afford Starbucks coffee. I had a guy run out of gas and I gave him five dollars dollars. The dude didn't say thank you turned around and started taking in his eye watch. It's things like this. People are so rude and entitled. I am also thinking about taking a long social media break because I am just tired of the negativity and people always wanting to argue. I'll post something in a private group and I get jumped on, told to eat poop, blah blah. I am just tired. And it's true, nice people get tired of being nice. And I am there now. And now to the comments. Bib said it likes to add. I'm so sorry that things around you have brought you down. Nice people only get tired of being nice when they let mean people win. I have given a stranger money and then realized their phone was nicer than mine. But you know what? Who gives AF? They think they got one over on you. But you know that your karma will be strong and they will get theirs in the end. Also, if you believe in a god and heaven, you just put one more good deed in your prose column. Please don't worry about how people use your kindness, just feel good that you are the kind of person that cares. Once the good deed has been done, just walk away and know that you did something nice and it does not matter how it was used. 
I used to feel used by entitled the whole stew, but now I just feel good knowing that I try to make society better instead of being one of leeches. Don't stop being nice, just know that your kindness never goes unnoticed, and someday when you need it, somebody will be nice to you too. I hope this helps you. Ankin Kimpling first commented, People suck most of the time. But what about all the stuff Jesus said you know? With the give the cook and the cheek turning and all that. Siska Trapward commented, I am completely with you. F being nice to random people who wouldn't piss on you if you were on fire in front of them. I used to go out of my way to be nice, but it does not matter in this world, and will probably only hurt you in the end. At this point, I firmly believe most of these people are trying to get one over on you somehow. Often Izzy likes to add, I can't believe that guy didn't say thank you. Anik Sanamun likes to add, I think there's a difference between being nice and being kind. If you're being nice with the expectation that you'll get something in return, most of the time it won't happen. Also, nice people have people-pleasing tendencies with no boundaries. You shouldn't deplete yourself and your mental health for the sake of being nice. Learn to have boundaries and set them. It took me a while to do it too, but now I am much better. Do kind things for yourself, not seeking validation from others because people can be selfish. Check out our playlist that summarize all posts of a specific topic. You can find them in the description box. To the next post. I used to piss on my father's toothbrush. Posted by Throwaway Toothbrush. Throwaway account for obvious reasons I'm not going to go into too much detail about my personal life because I am horrified of what might happen if anyone figures out who I am. But let me preface this post by saying my father is a narcissistic but who entirely deserved everything I did and I don't regret a thing so we're moving on. My parents are divorced and have been for a while. I live mostly with my mother however I unfortunately still have to see my dad on occasion for visits and whatnot because they have dual custody. I've never had much of a relationship with my father, when my parents were still together he was always out working and I never saw him and once they divorced I got a true taste of what an awful person he was and how glad I am my mother divorced him. He's condescending, narcissistic and believes that everyone should think and behave exactly how he wants them to or else they are worthless. It got to the point where I became suicidal and being around him was severely affecting my mental health. I was attempting or contemplating and aliving almost every visit I had with him. I was miserable. I was in middle school when I came up with the idea. After a particularly bad argument with my dad I went into the bathroom to cry and also having to pee so when I went to the bathroom I decided I was going to finally take silent revenge on him for everything he's done. I sat on the toilet, held his toothbrush underneath me and angry on it. I even scrubbed the toilet bowl with it a bit for good measure. I rinsed it off making sure there would be no way for him to smell or notice that I had done anything, then dried it off and placed it back in the little cup in the bathroom. It gave me a sense of power over him. Every time he had pissed me off, I pee on his toothbrush. Now I got to walk around with the knowledge that in a quiet, private way, I was winning. I had the power. I wasn't weak and vulnerable anymore, I had a leg up on him in a way he would never know. Every argument we had I was able to walk out of not feeling suicidal and deflated because I knew that no matter how horrible he was to me, that motherfucker brushed his teeth with my piss every morning and every night. I'm older now and don't see him as often, but I remembered this era of my life and started laughing hysterically. My only regret is that I didn't do it more. And now to the comments. Southern Countryman is 683 likes to add. Sounds fair. To the next post. My partner said they were kinda done when my computer monitor got scratched during a move. Posted by Midnight Kitten 23 Hey all. So, my partner and I have had a rough couple of months but we were working through it. We actively see a relationship counselor and things seemed like they were going really well for us. He even said two or three days ago that he wanted to spend the rest of his life with me. Yesterday, he and four others helped me move about two and a half rooms of stuff to my apartment on the fourth floor of an apartment building. I initially tried to hire movers, but he talked me out of spending money I really didn't have. Well, at the end of a really painful, hot and frustrating afternoon, we got my stuff into the apartment. One of the last things to go in was the PC he bought me for Christmas. I had packed it into the back of his car. Admittedly, I packed it the wrong way. It was an oversight on my part. One of the monitors has a sizable but surface level scratch from making contact with the tower corner. 
He went to go look at it then came at me saying you just ruined a $400 machine. It scrapped now and proceeded to lay into me. I tried to own it right then and there because while I don't think it's ruined, it's definitely my fault. I said I would pay for and repairs since it's my machine but he said that wasn't the point. He said he wanted his key back from me and said you know what, I'm kinda done. Someone else spoke up and said hey you guys are hot and tired and frustrated, just put a pin in it for now and he agreed, saying he would talk to me some other time before storming out and slamming the door behind him. And now to the comments. Pope Detective commented. Oftentimes we think we'll make a failed relationship work just because we don't want to be single slash alone. But sometimes you do need a fresh start. OP replied to that. I'm at a point where I know I deserve better. This just hurt and I can't see my way out of the pain. Wealth at Warsrandamuf commented. Why are you trying to make it work with this child? Johan Redcorn commented. Wait, he got mad at. Ew. For accidentally damaging. Your own stuff. OP answered. He bought the setup for me for Christmas, but yeah. Dick Too Radical commented. This is fucked up. It seems like emotions are high due to moving and relationships stress that you're already working through but damn, he needs to realise what a gift is. You could cover it in stickers or paint it rainbow and while he may not like it he can't say anything because he chose to buy it for you not himself. There's no but included when giving a gift. There's no stipulations or rules. The gift is a gift. I know you're not asking for advice but I hope you guys can talk to your relationship counsellor about this and see what they have to say. Hopefully it'll calm your boyfriend down and help him realise he acted a bit dramatic. To the next post. I hate alcoholics. Posted by MC Iprofane. They are truly some of the worst people they ruin lives and the families attached. Western cultures glorify drunken behaviour and it's effing embarrassing. And now to the comments. And sub 77,369 likes to add. Guess we wouldn't be friends. To the next post. My new friend kissed me while our partners were in another room. Posted by LT General Anxiety. My stomach has been in knots all day from worrying. Last night, my husband M and I F had some friends over for dinner at games and to help empty a keg in our kegerator. They are new friends M and F, but I knew the moment I met her that she was a kindred spirit. I have never hit it off with someone like I did with her and it turns out we're quite similar backgrounds, interests, etc. I don't really have friends because I am terrified they will get bored with me and move on, something that was an issue when I was young. We play pickleball with him at least once a week and go to dinner after. I think her boyfriend is wonderful and funny too. My husband gets along with both of them wonderfully as well. So, last night, we're having a great time, laughing and drinking. The ski shots come out and things start to go a little fuzzy for me. When I wake up this morning, I have a weird feeling that something happened. Then it hits me she kissed me twice. Now I am not straight but I also really never thought of her as anything but a friend. I kinda consider her my best friend and it's made me so happy to have a real friend. My husband had to fill in the rest for me, which is a little more upsetting. Apparently I took her upstairs to try on some of my swimsuits I have too many. We were up there for a while. My husband and her boyfriend saw my bedroom door close, knock, no answer, so they opened the door. We were both sitting on the bed next to each other and she was naked, I was not. I have zero recollection of that. Her boyfriend apparently just shook his head and walked away, asking my husband if they could play a video game. He did text us this morning saying they had a blast, so at least there's that. I'm just so confused about what happened and how to handle things going forward. I don't want to lose either of them, but I also really don't like what happened. It's not sitting well with me at all. My husband says not to worry about it and she was just really drunk that she might not even remember. I still think I should talk to her about it, just don't really know what to say. And now to the comments. Dimension Override commented. Sounds like you may want to have a bit of a convo with your friend and maybe ask her to explain how she sees your friendship, what it is and all. Probably explain what happened made you a bit uncomfortable and maybe state some boundaries as far as how close you're comfortable being. Sounds like your husband is very understanding, but I'm assuming now is not the time you would want to explore other relationships, so might want to have this converse sooner than later. Good luck, OP. OP answers. Good advice, thank you. A comment from an ambitious man. Might be time to dial back the bruise when you're hanging out with this new friend. You don't truly know someone in just a few weeks slash months time. 
OP replied to that. 100% yes. Sint 189 commented. I get Polly slash swinging vibes here. Destroymer 96 likes to add. It sounds to me like you're picked up a Polly couple. OP replied. Which is all good, if that is the case. If not, I don't want to be the reason they break up or stop hanging out with us. If you want more of this content, please consider subscribing. It will really help the channel grow. That is all I have for you today. I hope you liked it. I wish you a great day.